G'day. Got a quick one for you today. Um, the next league series we're going to run in the Boosted Media Discord channel is uh, going to be MX5s with an all Aussie track series. The lads have had it for half an hour races, so I've, I've dropped the fuel out of the fixed setup, so it's a forced pit stop. So that's what the lads wanted. Um, so I thought that I'd show you how to set up um, the Crew Chief app to run uh, auto refueling in iRacing. So I've done a video before showing the, the macros if you set up buttons in your stream deck or a button box to do uh, tick, change tyres and windshield tear off. So I'll link that in the video in the description anyway. So you should sort of get the other side of it if you just want to set up Crew Chief as a good spotter and. Um, yeah, auto refueling. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I'm sure you know how to get to a uh, website. So I'll link that in the description as the crewchief.org. Um, and then just click the down download crew chief for PC here. And I'll come up to download. And then when you've got that, download and install just open crew chief so the two things you well a couple of things you want to do first is set up your inputs and outputs so your, your headphones or your speakers uh, microphone the same thing or speakers because I, I haven't really used it in this software but you can actually talk back to him there's a lot of stuff you can do in this but I've, I've just set up for the basic stuff the spotting and so on so yeah so pick your pick your name from the list here so then Jim says says your actual name which is a pretty cool feature I suppose uh, crew chief voice is Jim he's pretty good it's pretty clear to listen to spot a voice I've tried a couple different ones but I reckon Jeffrey's pretty good um, and then what you want to do is go to properties so as well just quickly you can't modify the properties if you've started crew chief so I'll, I'll give you three things to set up in here and it should get you going anyway so yeah, as you can see voice recognition mate I've turned it off I don't really want to talk back to him and so on but anyway let's have a look so have I racing it's up to you if you want to have that I'll just hit show because it'll show all all settings uh, all categories and then just when I search uh, run enter so this one tick this one run immediately so that means when you open when you hit a button to open crew chief automatically starts it because if you don't have that ticked it'll open the program but it won't actually start crew chief so you call me out when I first started run, using this software but I had a few mates tell me to this tick box because it is a bit tricky for and there's a lot of features it's got and um, yeah it's it's a lot of stuff to, to go through so it's good to have a mate that sort of used it for a while so they know what the tricks are so next one will be to search for is fuel enter okay so you want to tick uh, enable fuel messages it's up to you enable auto racing auto refueling so when you come into the pit lane he's automatically going to put fuel in the car so log fuel this that's the file I think additional fuel to add to finish the race number of laps worth so we'll put one there it's not going to it's not going to eat up a lot of time having an extra lap worth of fuel to go in the car so and especially if it goes time certain you get an extra lap or something it's going to stuff you up uh, last thing to chuck in search sweary and if you want Jim to get angry if you got too many off tracks <laughs> and uh, get a bit rough with your driving he's going to tell you and he's going to tell you how he, really, how he really feels so that's probably one for a laugh to, if your kids are going to jump in the sim it's probably not worth having a tick because he does swear a bit but yeah it takes a bit for him to get angry anyway alright and then just hit save changes X out of that and then just start crew chief check spotter there you go. All done. Pretty easy. Hope it helped.